You guys, I'm back. This might be news. Woo! I have got to get an intro song. I cannot do that every episode. Woo! Y'all, we have a lot to talk about. But I really want to start, I really want to start, I really want to start by saying Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. Rihanna was not playing when she dropped this, honey. They just dropped her cover story for interview, you know, magazine. And she's looking real Rihanna mama. Rihanna mama. She looks amazing. She's been looking amazing. She's been out here slaying. And I had to pull up some facts on baby girl because... I honestly feel like because so many people are focused on the fact that she is not making music because she's out here making big moves. She is not worried about y'all's music. Okay, I had to let me read this insert so y'all really know that Rihanna has her foot on people's necks. Okay, because it was not too long ago that the news broke that she, it, it says LVMH, Moet, Hennessy, Louboutin. The world's largest luxury group officially confirmed not only that the fashion line created by Rihanna was becoming part of its gilded stable, but also that the first products from the new company would be unveiled in a few weeks. Yo, Rihanna is out here making history, teaming up with the largest fashion house in the world. I don't know if that's actually true. Let's check them facts. But, like, she's really out here making moves. Mama Sita. But anyway, back to the cover because, baby girl, baby, you're giving me life. You know what? And when I first looked at this, I was like, okay, okay. She giving me very Nacho Libre vibes. Yeah, she gave me very Nacho Libre vibes with the, with the, with the, with the face mask. Yes. She was giving it to me, and I was living living for it and I went in and I actually read the interview and it was really really cute you know she was in Barbados when she when they interviewed her and it was a very very nice interview you know of her just like talking about how she takes time to really embrace her life to embrace moments in her life her family she takes personal time you know she puts p on her calendar to indicate that she wants personal time because you know she has Fenty she has makeup she has the lingerie line, she has the fashion line, she has music, she has a man. Whew, I'm exhausted listing these things. But no, I'm very, very, very excited for Rihanna because I already know when that music does drop, whenever that might be in in the near future because she did not disclose in the interview when that would be taking place. I don't know where this interview, where this interview accent came from. She did not disclose when that would be taking place, but I do know that she's about to drop some fire. And I'm out here being so inspired by this black queen because she got her foot on people's necks and they not even know. They see the thing is, listen, listen here, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. I know this is this might be news, but this might be a word, huh? Don't let other people, uh-huh, box you in, uh-huh, because they want one thing out of you, uh-huh, and you are so capable, uh-huh, of, of doing, uh-huh, multiple, uh-huh, glory, mu- multiple other things, uh-huh, at that same who or higher level. And I'm... Cl- I'm calling you higher in the name. Everybody on the count of three, say Fenty Glory. Fenty Glory. So we're going to move on. You know what I do want to talk about? Who owed 50 cent money today? That's a bad John. That's a, ba- that's a bad John. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, 50 is out here teaching the youth a real good lesson. You know, um, he is like Sally Mae live. Uh, he, he's like if Sally Mae had a show um, or, or an Instagram page in which they went live and announced how much money you owe them. 
that's that man every day. You know, and you know what's what's interesting to me because I know that he was putting on blast, wrote Timmy and a few other gentlemen, and he's always dragging Tierra Marie from Love and Hip Hop. But you know what I'm I'm thinking? You know, 50 is smart. So, you know, for real, Timmy, he got his new album, Walk With Me or Walk On Me or Walk By Me. Something with Walk. Let me look it up because I be playing that song all the time. I actually really love it. It's from his new album. Who I'm scrolling in my phone, child. Let me find it. It go like this. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Walk with me. There you go. Just like Shazam. I got it. I found it. So. Oh, child, that look like a tow truck. And I'm, I'm parked. I had to pause because that looked like a tow truck and I'm parked upstairs where they said they going to tow. But hopefully we'll be safe in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, um, anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. That was a message from our sponsor that we do not have yet. But I'm speaking into existence. God, bring us a sponsor in the name. I've seen you do it for others. God, I've seen you do it for others. Do it for me now. Bring us the sponsor, Jesus. But um, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, y'all. Ah, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah. What I was saying was, I don't know if this is a marketing ploy because the business side of me is like, this is really smart. You know what I'm saying? You you putting people on blast. It's funny. You know, it's a kind of like a banter back and forth. Then another part of me think. Now, these people really owe 50, 50 cents of money, and he really shady and messy, and he really want his money back. I hope to get to a level that I have so much money, but I still want the money I gave you back. Like, I give people $50, $50 now, and I give it I give it in peace. Go with God. I know I ain't seeing that money back. 50 said, you got the right one. You, I definitely want my money back. You know, I'm, I'm going to put some of his victims here so that y'all can see. You know, some of his victims have been uh, Jackie Long from ATL. Uh, who else? Um, Tierra Marie, of course. He been, That's been going on for a while. He might have to send her to collections because I don't know if he's going to get that money back. And, um, you know. I think the other day he called out Trey Songs and I was like, all right, now you're having fun. And you know what? This is going to be a perfect segue into Trey Songs. Trey Songs, we know you had a baby on us. We know you had a baby on us. We know because you posted the baby, but we know you had a baby on us. You got your baby on FaceTime. You learned your lesson from Drake. You're not hiding the, the, the kid from the world. The world see the world see the kid. But you're but but where but who is the, the mom? Not that it's any of our business, and I, I will say this. I'll be the first to say this. It is none of our business, but who is she, though? Nah, but for real, like, <laughs> Trey. Trey. Tre what? Tremaine. Hmm? Tremaine's songs. <sighs> who is she? Um, No, but you know what? I feel like, you know, Trey songs is a baby. We're going to send him blessings, love, and support. You know, he's a father now. He's out here. This might be a panty job. This might be a diaper. I got to put on your diaper. This might be your mama calling me. Let me change your diaper. No more penny droppers. This might be your diaper coming soon. Nah, but honestly, I'm really happy for Trey songs. You know, like, I feel like... I feel like Trey Songz is at a good point in his life. You know, me speaking as someone who doesn't know him at all, at all. I feel like he's at a great point in his life. You know, he still looks great. He's still out here singing, you know. He got a little son now, baby mother unknown. You know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. I know a lot of people want to know who the baby mom is. Maybe they do know. Maybe I missed it. Y'all know who the baby mom is? Tell me. Tell me who she is. Is it you? Is it you? Is it? Mm. Straining the babysitter. Trading the 
baby should or however that song go okay let me talk about this let me talk about this y'all i need to talk about this because yeah i seen this online i seen this online and i said to myself this ain't it jesus this is not it jesus and i know they i know that they know it's not it but i understand the climate that we're in as far as business that you, you you can't compete where you don't where you don't belong you can't compete where you don't place and walmart has seen fit to introduce a new service mhm let me i'm gonna break it down for y'all walmart has released that they will actually have a service where if you order the groceries uh-huh someone will pull up to your residence go into your home and stock your refrigerator for you now i know on paper it sounds convenient but don't nobody want nobody from walmart in their house huh i can't even find you in the store i can't even find walmart workers in the store when i'm in walmart okay you think i'm finna let you in my house i can't find you I come home, you talk about some. We weren't expecting you. We? We? In here stocking my fridge and laying on my couch. Talk about I had a quick 15. Get out of here. Walmart, listen, I understand that you try and compete with Amazon because Amazon has Amazon Prime in which they deliver groceries. I don't know if they're stocking your fridge yet. You know what? What is it next? We're gonna we're gonna take your car. We're gonna fill we're gonna fill it up with gasoline on the weekends, so you don't have to worry about it. Hey, now if this is a good idea, don't steal my idea. Let's partner. Let's do some business. But I mean, like, where are we really going with these these services, people? Where are we headed? No, again, I'm serious. Like, if that gasoline pitch was was a good idea, you business savvy, got some got some funding. Please inbox me. Just throwing out. Just, just i'm just saying no but really where are we going with these services i mean what's next we're gonna come in your house we're gonna plug up your cell phone and your computer and that's called easy charging you don't have to worry about it we got your back what go get your own groceries and stock your refrigerator i don't need you in my house i don't need you in my house would y'all use it would y'all use walmart to, to stock your refrigerator and your freezer you know i i just I don't, I mean, I would have to understand, is it, is it, is it employees from Walmart? Because they ain't got nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? They don't have nothing to lose. I mean, really anyone at Amazon, and not just Walmart, because I respect Walmart and what they, well, I kind of respect it. But if you work at Walmart and you going into somebody's house who can afford you to deliver their groceries, just take a look around this house then because i might not need to, to work at walmart no more you know what i'm saying i call that a promotion nah but for real i don't know if i would ever use that 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 i don't know if i would ever use that it it just i just feel like there's a lot of it's a lot of red flags for me i'll be waiting to hear about the reviews let's move right along because we got a lot to cover we have a lot to cover and I want to get into a sensitive topic. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I want to get into a sensitive, po uh, a sensitive topic because this is a serious topic, but I just want to make a public service announcement. Uh, the Dominican Republic, yeah, y'all are canceled, okay? There have been several, and I mean more than two, several breaking stories of Americans going to DR and dying mysteriously. I mean, headline after headline of death that are taking place at resorts, all-inclusive resorts. Yep. Yep. The ones with the pina coladas. Uh-huh. Yep. Sippy, 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 die. That's what's going on right now. And I just want to make this public service announcement and let y'all know that DR is acting really, really scary right now. Boom. One example. California man died in Dominican Republic after drinking from Hotel Minibar. Whoo. 
it's a bad joint. That is not a good vibe for the summer. DR is out here giving y'all everything that y'all want with a side of death. And it's not a good vibe. And, you know, I'll be the first to say I went to DR for my birthday and I had a wonderful time. But I will say that if there was going, if, if something were to have happened on that resort, just like there was an incident where a Delaware woman was beaten almost to death on a resort and her husband was looking for her and they were telling him, oh, maybe she's drunk, maybe she's drunk. She was unconscious and hospitalized and the hotel took no responsibility for what happened to her. And the man who beat her was in a hotel uniform. It's a bad John in DR. I'm not going to hold you right now. I would not recommend traveling there. Even the other day, okay, there was a former baseball player shot. I'm trying to find his name right now. Oh, Cause y'all know I got receipts. There was a former baseball player shot in DR. They got gun guns shot in DR. Minding his business, I'm sure. And he was shot in DR. I'm going to put it here. Shot in DR. They're reporting that he was hospitalized afterwards. What is going on? Dominican. Republico. The, the Dominican. Listen, at the end of the day, this is my advice. Don't go there. But, but I will say the traveler in me has to tell you this. The resort's about to be dumb cheap. So if you're trying to go to DR, now would probably be the time. Now, in between the next three months, because it's looking like real scary out there. So it's not going to be a lot of trips there. So if you're looking for a real good vacation for the low, with a side of possible not coming back, you should go to DR. And ladies, if your man is surprising you with a DR trip, be warned. He trying to get rid of you. You might not come back from that, John. I'm not going to lie to you, sis. Be very careful. Oh, my man love me. He surprised me with an all-inclusive trip to DR. He trying to get rid of you. He is. You heard it here first. This might be news. Don't go to DR. It's a bad John. Nah, but for real, them, them flights going to be cheap. And the, the hotel is going to be cheap, too, because ain't nobody trying to die for real. So, you know, it's a toss-up. Like, when she asks you dudes, you know, dudes, if you're taking her out there, if she asks you, like, oh, my God, I can't believe you got this all-inclusive resort. I don't know why your girlfriend would sound like that, but whatever. Oh, my God, I can't believe you got this all-inclusive resort. <sighs> you love me so much. I'm so excited. And then she be like, babe, why are you packing that bulletproof vest? Just be like, baby. It's do or die for this vacation. Do or die, baby. You might ride or die. It's do or die. It, it's it's funny, but it's not funny. Really, don't go to DR. I don't want to. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to see anybody be a headline because you wanted a pina colada with a side of sun. It's a bad John. It's a bad John in DR, bro. It's not good vibes out there, for sure. It's really not. Avoid at all cost. All right. Let's let's talk about how you zoom. Let's talk about Wendy. You know? Wendy Williams has, has had a year. Wendy Williams has had a life, honestly. She has opened up about her um her abuse of her um what's the what's the what's the technical term? Her it's not drug abuse, it's it's like uh Whatever. She has opened up about going to rehab, seeking help for, you know, some of the some of the things in her past and in her present. She's also gone through a very public uh separation and divorce from her her husband or her her late husband, Kevin. Big Kevin, as they refer to him on TMZ. And she was caught, you know, out and about living her best life, you know, taking taking selfies with Black China, Black China's mama, you know, other women and men. She was out here getting popping. I'm happy for her. 
I am. I'm very happy for Wendy. But I also want to say, pray for Wendy, man. Losing your marriage, no matter how long you knew that that man wasn't it or how long you were comfortable with the situation and dealing with substance abuse. Oh, now it comes. Dealing with substance abuse at the same time, her whole life is being redefined. And sometimes it's easy to jump into something and it look all fine and dander because you're hurting so bad. You know, and I seen this clip of her. She looked, she looked pretty wasted. The dude in the car looked like he was not trying to be on camera, but he wasn't trying to trip for real because he was like in the shadows a little bit. I peep you. I peep game, sir. You know what I'm saying? He trying to go to DR. He trying to go to DR. That's what that is. He trying to go to DR. He heard, he heard them flights is cheap. Um, but nah, like really pray for Wendy because I feel like it's a lot of hurting and a lot of healing that has to take place. Anyway, this is not Ayana Fix My Life. We moving on. Whoo, we moving on. Now, you know what I really want to talk about? I want to talk about, and I really can't talk about it that much because, I, and I'm referencing, nah, we should probably talk about that on the next episode. Let me wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? Because... I do want to talk about when they see us, but I got to finish it. Like, I don't know about you. I was only able to get through part one because I was so livid. My heart was breaking. Ava, you is a hell of a director, baby, but you got me out here crying every single second. I was sick watching that. Mm, I was so angry uh, that they treated these young men like this. I was so angry that it didn't happen that long ago. And for me, I'm just like, that could have been anyone. That could have been my little brother. That could have been... You know, that could have been any of us. And to have taken away those boys' youth like that, that ain't right. It ain't never going to be right. But we're going to go over. We're going to go over when they see us, man. I got to really, like, I got to step up and watch the rest of it. I'm going to watch I'm, I'm gonna watch the rest of it. It's coming soon. Coming soon. All right, this is episode 204. I just made that up. I'll see y'all next episode. It's This Might Be News. I'm Miss Bull. I'll see y'all later.